we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, this is our first YouTube video. I'm Patrick. This is Bentley. I'm going to be reviewing some fidgets that I've never seen before, so... Bentley's in charge of handing me these widgets, <laughs> not widgets, fidgets, and I'm going to see how they work. I'm going to rate them. I have no idea what I'm going to look at. Uh, 1 through 10. 1 through 10. 1 being good or bad? Uh, or 10 being the best? 10 being the best. Okay. So first, I'll let you start. there's a simple dimple. Simple dimple. <laughs> I have no idea that they had things like this. All it is is like these little half bubbles and you just push them in. I mean, I guess if you're really bored, this can be pretty satisfying. Like, oh, I got blue, I've got red, I've got green. How about a little bit of pink and a little bit of yellow? That's, let's see, I, I'll give this it's kind of hard for me to rate this because I've never played with fidgets like this. So I'll start off with a seven. It's cool looking. It's got different size bubbles. It makes noises when it pops. Okay. Next, Next. there's poppets. Different. Poppets. It's basically like unlimited bubble wrap, I think. You got a brown one, octagon. Yeah, octagon <laughs> and a square. And I've actually played with these once. Bentley's had them before. And what I like to do is sit here and just speed through them as fast as I can. It's kind of satisfying. It's so simple. If you like popping bubble wrap, you're going to have to get yourself one of these because it's like popping bubble wrap over and over and over. It's just simple and satisfying. I'm going to give this one 8.5 just because I like popping little <laughs> little bubble wraps and this is as close as it gets and I don't have to keep buying it. And this one's a needle. A what? A needle. A needle? Yeah. A needle? <laughs> it's squishy. It's pink. If I'm angry, I guess I could sit here and squeeze this. This is really comfortable on the hand. It kind of massages your hand. You want to try? What do you think of it? Um, to me, I like to play with it when I'm on car rides or something. On car rides? Is this just the? Yeah. This is how I'm just gonna get get that that arm pump in from when I'm riding. It's like oh one rep, oh two reps, three. <laughs> Switch it. One two <laughs> three. One two three. Ooh, in it. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but. It almost makes a fart noise. I'll give this one an eight. I like this one. And this one is called, um, I don't remember what it's called though. Monkey noodles, was it? Yeah. I don't know. They look like spaghetti noodles. Bentley calls them monkey noodles. That's what I don't, I have, called. how do you get monkey noodles? Do monkeys even have noodles? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, like, I could be some kind of Rastafarian guy. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you do with these? You stretch them. And stretch. stretch them? You tie them. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. This is kind of stuff, I feel like I'd get it tangled up if I tie them and I'd get frustrated. I'm giving this one a five. <laughs> you may think different, but I'm giving it a five. Next is a wacky track. Wacky track. <laughs> I feel like this is like... You can bend it. Oh, I feel like I just broke somebody's finger. <laughs> I feel like it's like a, oh, this is pretty cool. I feel like I'm building a transformer. And with the other ones, you could connect them and there's different colors. That's pretty cool. I'm going to give this one a nine because I'm kind of like a mechanic -y kind of guy. And I like to put stuff together. And the fact that they got different colors, you could snap them together, bend them make different shapes and it sounds like you're breaking fingers it's getting a solid nine then, what was that one called anyways uh wacky track wacky track get yourself a wacky track <laughs> this is gobbles these are gobbles 
I saw Bentley using these earlier. You just throw them into the ceiling. <laughs> and they stick. Uh, you can't see it, but you can see that that ball did not come back down. Sometime later in this video, you will see that thing fall down and probably smack me. But these are actually pretty cool. You can throw them at the walls. They don't leave any sticky stuff on anything. So I think they're actually really cool. Hi, Charlie. But He's cruising around. Some our little doggy. Are glow in the dark and um, bigger. The fact that these stick on walls and don't leave a mess, I'm giving these a 9.5 <laughs> because you can throw them at the walls. You can throw it on the ceiling above you. Eventually, it's going to fall down. Eventually. Sometimes you got to go get a fishing pole and knock it off the <laughs> ceiling like we were doing earlier. But the only problem with them is that they get dirty. If they fall on carpet, they're going to get a little hairy. Be aware. <laughs> All right. The next one will come back down eventually. <laughs> This one is a eventually blood pressure thing. I don't know. It goes in your finger and it's a blood pressure thing. Charlie, <laughs> can you leave that thing alone? <laughs> Get over here. Sorry, he's getting into stuff over there. <laughs> this thing, this thing's just cutting the blood off my finger. This thing is gonna turn my finger purple <laughs> and make it explode. I am not. If, unless if you have little fingers. <laughs> Use this thing like a child's finger. Yeah. Even then, why do I want my finger to come off by cutting the blood circulation? I'm giving this one a four. She might like it. I don't know. You could hear Charlie honking his little horn over there. Okay. Next. Um, this is a water timer. A water timer. That's actually pretty cool. I feel like that's the closest thing to a lava lamp without it being a lava lamp. Charlie! Sometimes, stop squeaking your duck or your armadillo, whatever that thing is. Sometimes in class when I finish my book or something, I just watch it. It is pretty cool. It's got multiple colors that drop down. Somehow, they're not mixing. It's pretty... I think it's multiple layers, that's why. Yeah. Ah, okay. Closest thing you can get to a lava lamp. That's getting a solid seven. I like that. There's different colors like red and blue and that stuff. So be creative with it. Pick your favorite color. And okay. the next is a shark mochi. A <laughs> shark mochi. <laughs> this guy, he's squishy. He feels funny. He's pretty cool though. I like it. You I feel like my dog would eat him though. He <laughs> is a shark. You can find them at Walmart. He looks like he low. has like marshmallows in his teeth because <laughs> it's just plastered everywhere white and where, where where can you get these uh walmart five below and like other cool places like have toys there you go <laughs> it's simple it's cheap he's mushy and he <laughs> looks cool and you could have a collection and um the glitter ones are legendary legendary <laughs> i feel like i'm back in uh what, pokemon got your legendary no no what they what were they called uh oh, i forgot they had a cool name for pokemon cars well i'll remember it later but let's move on <laughs> now it's a basketball this is the stress basketball <laughs> i could throw this at her <laughs> as hard as i can and it will not hurt so whenever she makes a mess i could just peg her with this and that then she'll know oh i guess i should clean <laughs> so that will actually get a good solid eight because it's uh useful for getting her attention <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a bike chain bike chain looks like we got two key rings with some bike chains on it it's it's pretty cool because you could like infinitely flip them through each other and they'll never get stuck well i won't say never but sometimes they do but sometimes i'm sure if you get the right person they will find a way to get this thing stuck but it's pretty cool if you're just sitting there and you want to you know just fidget around with something it's pretty neat i'll give that one a seven and a half Simple, satisfying. <laughs> and this one's a uh, marble mesh. 
Marble Nash. He's made the marble. This looks like one of those old, like, Chinese finger lock things. <laughs> you used to stick your finger in it, and if you tugged it, your finger would just get stuck even more. Except there's no holes on the end. There's just a marble trapped in it, and you just kind of uh, 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 go back and forth Usually with it. Usually the cheaper ones, they break easier. So sometimes I use them for erasers if they break. I put them oh. inside. Well, that's pretty cool. She likes it. Me? I don't know. I get kind of bored easy, so I'll, I'll give it. I'll give this one a six and a half. It's still pretty cool, though. I'm sure they got different colors as well. Yeah, they have a whole bunch. And then this is a slinky. Slinkies are OG until they get tangled. <laughs> Once these things get tangled, it's done. But if you have a real good one that doesn't get tangled, until the moment it gets tangled, this thing's a solid nine. Once it gets tangled, that thing drops down to a three in my book because <laughs> I just get frustrated and angry because it will not come apart and there's no way to fix it. <laughs> I remember one time when... We went to Dave & Buster's, and I got a big giant slinky, and I think we went somewhere, and I brought it inside, and it got tingled, and it It was a it done deal. It. Done deal, huh? And that's... What is this thing? I don't... I forgot what it's called. Charlie! <laughs> I've got some num-nums. You want to see what it is? Can you not squeak your toy right now? We're trying to rate some fidgets. <laughs> This thing, it almost looks like, what was the other snap thing? The thing that sounded like broken fingers? The uh, wacky track? Yeah, it looks like a giant wacky track. It kind of folds the same way. And Charlie is still squeaking his <laughs> toy. But yeah, you can fold it, roll it, bend it, make cubes out of it. If you like fidgets, this, this is a good solid... Seven. I'll give it a seven. And this one, I don't know what it's called because my grandma gave it to me. But I, to me, it's a fidget, but I don't know to other people. This is like a super, super cool fidget spinner because you can grab this thing by any of these circles that are on here and spin it. So I spin it that way, grab it, spin it that way, grab it, and... There's just so many cool things you can do. But if you drop it, it will hurt because it's metal. Yeah, this thing's pretty heavy. If you <laughs> hit somebody with this, it's going to hurt. One time, I was just playing with it in my bed, and I dropped it on my face. And that probably hurt. <laughs> yeah. Especially if it hit a tooth. And I had a bruise on my forehead. <laughs> well, there you guys have it. We got through 25% of her fidgets <laughs> because in her room she's got a massive box of fidgets, but That's my opinion on them. You got her word on them. If you guys like this video Go ahead and hit that like button below and subscribe and we'll do another one of these videos for you <laughs>